Well, good morning. The day is Tuesday, second day of the week. For everybody who didn't know that, uh, it's first Monday and then it's Tuesday. You're welcome. Um, to paint or not to paint, yeah, it turns out I didn't paint so much yesterday and I didn't even finish the edit, nor did I post it. So I think I took a little bit water over my head in terms of what I wanted to do in a day, what I wanted to film, and lesson learned. Today, I'm trying to do something a little bit different. I think it might jeopardize the seven <laughs> videos for a weekday. I cannot believe that people actually for a long time filmed for a day, edited it, and posted it every day, like every single day. That is crazy. That is just insane. Um, I was up until two and I'm like halfway through more or less. But so today I'm gonna do a two day type of video. The weather is gonna be bad. I'm going to climb and actually hanging out with my girlfriend today. I think it'll be a two day thing. Tomorrow I know for a fact that I'll have time to paint and I will paint no matter the weather. Tomorrow is the painting day. So that being said, this vlog will give you today, Tuesday, and tomorrow, Wednesday. So, back to the list. Let's go. But first, coffee. So it's one o'clock and I just finished editing the video, which is ridiculous. I'm so out of shape in terms of editing, so it takes me forever to do it and I get stuck on some small things, which is absurd. Uh, <laughs> well, that's how it is. Um, I didn't make this video to, I didn't make this, I didn't make the decision, I didn't make the decision of filming this week in order to prove that I'm painting every single day. Uh, ultimately, I would have wished that I was painting every single day this week, because probably that would have been more interesting for you, however, as soon as I'm finished with the most important things that I need to organize here, plus climbing. Um, <laughs> I will have time to paint. But again, it will be a two-day vlog this time, so tomorrow I'm definitely going painting, no matter what. Now it's time for some lunch, and then I need to meet up with Frederick, and uh, I need to meet... I need to head out to the climbing gym. Woohoo! Do you snow so much in your What? Do you snow? Yeah. 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 So, guys, I woke up today and the sun is out, which is amazing. I'm so happy about it. And I have a long day today as well. Yesterday, I didn't get to do any of the things that I needed. Only finishing editing the video, not even posting it. Um, I did do some climbing. That was good. And, uh, well, I had to celebrate some friends and and stuff like that. Um, I, for, I tend to forget to be social, so it's it's good. It's a pat on the good shoulder right there. Um, but yeah, today I'm going out to finish this. This is an awful painting out just because 
I finished it in the, or I didn't finish it. I just ended it in a really ugly stage. I absolutely hate it. And I do not enjoy the composition either. So, eh, we'll see. I mean, I'm gonna finish it today and hopefully I get to play a little bit with the light and stuff like that. It has a lot of nice elements in it. So I get to explore quite a bit and it's one of it's a part of the demo on on Patreon as well um, on the subject of of painting uh, architecture something that I really don't prefer so I thought I'd share my knowledge on the subject and uh, but I'm excited so yeah that's that's it and then for the rest of the day I need to come back here and uh, continue on the list which is cutting up some panels heading to the post office and and, uh, and a bunch of stuff before I have a dinner this evening. So we'll see. Let's get to it. Smooth operator. Okay, so I just have, I just got this great idea. Um, that I really wanted to try out. Um, I've been thinking about actually painting a certain scene like uh, several times. And to be more exact, it's, it's this one. This is a, in my neighborhood. And this is, a, I think, a 45 minute sketch more or less. Just put it here. But because I really, really appreciate this this scene in particular with the colorful houses and the trees and the the hill right here it's a very good standing composition or portrait composition or whatever you want to call it and normally i don't paint that way a lot i normally paint like this so and just because i'm in love with these two houses with this guy in the back i've been considering painting this particular scene in like every type of season and many different types of lights so with that i think i can create enough comfort to do a sort of video series on the regular on how to paint that in different houses. I mean, I'm not gonna do it like every single episode, but I'm gonna come back to it. Um, and today is one of those days. And at the same time today, I can film that and do a Patreon uh, video on how to paint architecture, which is great. So I'm gonna skip this ugly one right here because I'm really not motivated to do it. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, no excuses or explanations. I feel like doing that. I'm going to do it. I'm an artist. That's my right. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm a spoiled child. Whatever you want to <laughs> say, I'm going to go and do that. So I'm ready to go. I'm just going to pack and head out. Cool. Someone asked on the channel on a couple of things to think about when you're setting up and there's a lot of things to think about. Uh, if you practice them in the, in the beginning then you'll surely sort of automize them and uh, they'll just happen naturally sort of to you I think. One thing in particular is that Depending if you're sight sizing or not, your your panel needs to be eye level. Um, if you don't know what sight size is, you can click. There's a link in the description about the subject of sight sizing. Um, but otherwise, depending on where the sun is, you're gonna set up your panel or your setup a little bit differently. So a lot of people don't like having direct sunlight on their panels because it confuses a lot if it's white like this you'll get blind you see colors like an idiot um, 
but I tend to do it sometimes. If you do, you have to think that all the values in your painting should definitely be brighter than in reality. And if you're setting up in a dark space, it should naturally also be a little bit darker than what it is in reality. Just something to think about a little bit. But in this situation, I'm in a quite perfect lighting. I have a lot of sky clouds and buildings hit by sun. And I have my panel without any direct sunlight and without like under shadow. So the sun is there, but behind all the trees and my motive is side lit. So it's uh, just a good setup with a lot of reflected light on it. Sometimes if I'm painting a backlit scene, I even bring these type of things. This is just the reason, like it's not that I do that a lot, but um, like screens for, for photographs. So this you take it out and it goes like that. That works really well in terms of reflecting light if you have a too large space or something like that. Um, especially helpful for filming and photographing your paintings, but also in terms of just painting. Um, but I think that's more or less about the setup. Obviously, I have a video about what type of setup I have, so you can check that out as well. But uh, in terms of setting up, starting out, I think that's something that's most important. And, and also to be considering where the sun is now and where it will go. So I'm going to paint these houses right here. And I know that in about 15 minutes, those buildings right there will have sunlight on them. So I'm not getting that sort of side lit or back lit, uh, sky brighter, house darker type of thing that I was actually like aiming for today. So. I'm just gonna start out with, with locking in and seeing if, if I can just wait until the light hits there or if I actually go for the colors right now. I have to make a decision, but 15 minutes I don't think I can execute all those colors um, correctly. Correctly, so those are some things to think about when you're setting up, for sure.
behind and uh, being playing here. So really just using brush work. We can create that feeling. see there's a lot of uh, clouds coming in of course is uh, is in Norway and uh, it's been nice weather for two hours now so that is actually not only rainy clouds oh that's an airplane that's been a while but it's actually rain pouring down um, I do not want to be a part of that so we'll see I'm trying to finish this up looks nice I can't see anything. I think this has to be it for now. Um, I think I have a general sense of the, the light effect, but to be it for now at least um, also just to mention a little bit about painting on this type of support this is acrylic gesso so it doesn't really absorb that much also painting on a completely white support now you can clearly kind of see what happens in some areas there's like white parts that I haven't really filled out and they can be quite distracting and they can take a lot of attention if you have already a warm type of tint on it that will be a color instead and the color rather than white is something well, obviously that you're gonna find more naturally in the landscape either way we very seldom paint pure white maybe in clouds or bright road or snow but otherwise white can be quite ineffective in that sense so I only do it when I'm lazy and sometimes if I'm painting an overcast day but otherwise I think uh, you can just put a tint instead I think it will help you more to have a tint instead of uh, or stain a color yeah look at this this is what I mean this situation right now with the sunlit buildings and the dark sky in the back is really really nice especially if this was in the evening in the sunset so maybe another day this week I'll come back and paint that because I'm sure it's gonna rain more. Who knows, maybe I'll do a nocturnal piece here. I would really like to do those type of buildings in similar compositions, but different situations. So, yes. 
I think that is it for now. Before it starts to rain, I'm gonna have to pack this little camera with the new lens um, down before it starts to rain. So yeah. Oh my God, it's just pouring around. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm happy that I went inside because, well, obviously now it's raining, and quite a lot. I mean, it rarely rains onto the window here, but yeah. But yeah, what to do? Um, cool. I guess I have to prep some more panels and shipping them, and uh, I think that would be it for today. After that, I'm gonna get to that. So yeah, um, that was nice. A quick little painting before I do everything else uh, for the rest of the day, which uh, was I think the smart way to go about it. Um, now it's in here, zoom, and it's not. <laughs> I managed to unclean it again, so. Um, but yeah, it's time to make panels. That is like the top thing I have to do. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. panels I had to cut some and then prime some and yeah it's all finished and packed and ready to ship so I can go to the postal office again tomorrow and ship them um perfect standing right here looking pretty cool it's so dark now it's crazy just because of the rain well in the way um, that's it for today. Um, I forgot to tell you in the last video, obviously you know this already, but you gotta subscribe guys. You gotta subscribe and when you have, there's a little bell right there. Click it and you will be rewarded. I think. Actually, I've never done it myself. To do it because then you get notifications then it automatically shows up whenever I post and you get to see it as soon as possible so please do that man I have no idea how to do a fucking intro because I'm constantly talking I can't up st stop talking comment like subscribe all those things that really really helps my channel to grow and get a little bit of people watching and stuff like that would be super nice because then Eventually that could mean that making some videos could also be part of uh, my work. That would be nice because I don't always sell paintings even though they are amazing. Okay, either way, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, today it's Wednesday, so yeah. Tomorrow will be Thursday, which will be the next video, yeah, for sure. Or something like this, I don't remember, oh my god, it's like... Parallel timelines, okay, bye. Yeah! It's looking so good. Look at that roof, it's just like BAM! And because it has that color, man, it's not too bright in value either, it's actually like.